All right, hello everybody. This is Bo Hyman for Massively.com, and what I think I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you um, how this works real quick because I thought we'd check it out. Um, be, uh, hopefully, you're reading the article right now on Joy to Key, how to use your um, how to use Joy to Key to turn your controller into a mouse clicks uh, stuff like that, so you can basically use it to uh, to play games and to, or to do things on your computer that you wouldn't normally do. Use a controller for like use it as a mouse. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go get Joy to Key, which I've linked in the article, which is uh, J O Y T O K E Y. So just Google that. I found it at a particular site that's linked in the article. If you want to go check it out there, and then you're going to want to run it and install it. Um, uh, so make sure you scan it first for any viruses. Right click and scan. Um, otherwise, don't worry about it. Uh, so if you want to install and run it, you're going to see this. And then if you want to go to your control panel, and you're going to come up here to the to the game controllers icon, which is essentially you know where you you know where you uh, f you check out all your game controllers and stuff. You're going to want to you're going to see your controller there in your game controllers list, and you're going to go to properties. Now, what you're going to use properties for is you're going to, as you can see, um, watch these buttons down here. As I hit, let's say the A button on my controller, the number one button. I don't know if you can see that kind of. Uh, um, beeping or whatever there. That's essentially that's going to tell me that my A key is number one. Uh, my Y key is number four. My right bumper, for example, is number six. Uh, my left bumper is number five. So it gives you an example. My uh, back key, or what is normally I like to call the select key, is number seven. So what you're using your controller properties for is to just show you what number or wh what corresponds to what, in other words. So whenever you start joy to key what you want to do first is go to the Others tab and go ahead and check on this Use POV Switches. So click on that, go back to Joysticks, and you're going to see that it's going to say, it's going to get, say, you left, up, uh, left, right, up, and down. Those first four, these first four, are correspond to uh, your left joystick. The POV 1 those all correspond to your directional pad, your D-pad, and your POV2, I believe, corresponds with your right joystick, but for some reason I'm having issues messing with that, but you don't really need it that much. Um, so, for example, on your joystick here, if you, if you click um, the first one, the left button, and you click on that, you're going to be able to go to a command, special, mouse, whatever. Um, in this case, I was using it for uh, a Milmo, which is a, a browser game that I'm using as an example in the uh, in the article. And in Milmo, A drives uh, A is your is what makes the per the character turn left. So I actually just hit the A key, or if it, let's say it was W, I'd hit W. Let's say if it was you know left was the X key or whatever, you just hit the the particular uh, key in there. So in this case, to go left, I'd hit A. Then I just hit OK. And then now my left, whenever I hit the joystick to the left, it would actually be like pressing A in the game. So the POV buttons, POV1 buttons, I should say, if you go through these four here, are basically um, for your directional pad. And what I use those for is the mouse. Now to get your mouse um, on the directional pad, for example, you just double click it, go to mouse. And in this case, it, POV1 said right. So I'm going to go to the, my cursor here, and I'm going to move it to the right. To see the horizontal numbers here, the horizontal slider? I'm going to move that to the right. About I usually do, do, I was doing it about 65, somewhere around there. Let's do 65. And you can adjust that for sensitivity, essentially, and hit OK. So now whenever my directional pad goes, whenever I push up, now, oh, that was up, wasn't it? Oops, let's fix that. So instead of going to the right, let's actually go to let's put that right back to zeros. This is how you can uh you can you can just change this real quick. Instead I'm gonna go up to about sixty-five. Okay, so now my uh, my uh, directional pad, if I press up on it, it actually acts as though I'm I'm making my mouse and as you can see my mouse just moved. If you can see my little cursor there, it'll actually go up. And if I set the down one for the mouse to go down See, so now it'll go down and up and down and up. So you can see how how that is acting. My directional key is actually acting like a mouse. See, I can, and then if I wanted to select, let's go back here. What was my A button? My green button on the joy on the controller is number one. So if I go to button number one on on the controller, I can click that and I can say, hey, let's go to mouse and let's make that the left button. So it says use button click, and I just click left button. 
So I can now not only move my joystick up, but I can actually select, I mean, move my mouse cursor, but I can actually select now the A. So essentially all you're doing is you're, you, you're, you're using your properties to see what buttons correspond to what numbers. And then over here, you're assigning those buttons to a particular keyboard or mouse or command functions. Uh, so far, all I've done, is, for example, in Milmo, is I use my uh, on my left joystick to, dr to um, drive the character and then to um, I made my right bumper which is button number six I made my right button the uh, my right bumper the right button on the mouse so what that means is that I can actually hold down my right bumper as though I'm holding down right click on the mouse and then I can use that to, to pan the camera around so let's say I'm driving along in Milmo or whatever and then I, I want to look over an e the edge of a cliff, like tilt the camera down. I just hold the right button down and use the directional pad like a mouse. And then that will actually tilt the camera and everything. There's also, you can also zoom as well. Um, if you have wheel mouse, you have the wheel uh, middle button here. If you just use that, you can actually click on which rotation you want it to. Like if you want it to go up or in or out. So that you can use that one for uh, for um zooming in and out so you can assign a couple keys for that. I think I used, I can't remember what I used on that one, but I had one where it'll actually zoom my uh, my camera in and out. So I can do pretty much everything from the controller. I just can't, you can't really do too many things. Now you, there is a way for you to combine uh, commands and stuff like that and then you can um, you know you can actually kind of make it a little bit like you can say here's a special key do this one plus this one and that will help you do uh, certain shortcuts but for a game let's say like World of Warcraft you had a whole you know 12 different abilities or whatever you're not necessarily going to want to use it for that because there's just too many now you can use it in conjunction with uh, your keyboard you know you can hit your keyboard shortcuts whatever you want but generally I'm using it for mostly for games like Milmo or uh, uh, you know games like that that are really kind of actiony and stuff um, for example Dragon Nest I can't really get it to work too well because you also have to control the camera all the time so I'm kind of working on that but there is a way to do it uh, it works of course for a game like DC, on DC Universe Online it works automatically it automatically has that built in so you don't have to worry about it with cer for certain games but it's anyways that's Joy to Key I just wanted to give you kind of a quick tutorial on how to maybe do it cause if, in case my article doesn't explain it um, decent enough so um, just mainly open up your just remember open up your 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 controller properties and figure out what buttons correspond to what numbers and you can uh, just go back here and, and those, those button numbers you or or you know whatever they're um, you just use that to assign whatever particular command so just mess with it have some fun with it. it's a free program joy to key um, I've had no problems with it and I've had a lot of fun with it actually so